Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello. This week I'd like to talk to you about other people's projections onto you, of you. <laughs> Which sounds a little complicated, but I'm going to explain. So, when we are in the world, we are constantly picking up information from the exterior, from the external world, the world outside of us, to make sense of things, to make sense of ourselves, to assess whether we're getting our human needs met, and many other things. But one of the things that can happen is that we can buy into what other people think of us. And this especially happens when it comes to our family, because we've lived them most of our lives normally, and we assume that they know us and they know us deeply. So what they think about us and who they think we are can sometimes get muddled up and we can think it's the truth. And I want to share something with you about how people see other people. So we all see people through our own paradigms and those paradigms are coloured by our experiences. Um, actually, it's all coloured by our experiences. It's it's coloured by how we've experienced life and people in it and how we have grown up believing other people are. And it's different from everyone. Like your sibling can think about something very differently to how you see things. For instance, somebody who is suspicious and doesn't trust people will think that other people are untrustworthy and suspicious. Uh, somebody who um, is immoral will think that most other people are immoral. Somebody who thinks that people are genuinely good and kind and big-hearted will see that in other people as well. And the reason I'm sharing this is because how people see you is not the truth. It's the truth as they see it, and it's coloured by their experiences of the world and their projections onto the world. Um, I've noticed this in relationships as well, especially when you're having an argument or a discussion and the normal connection that you have with somebody is not quite as strong as it would be. In my experiences, I've reverted to being somebody's mother a number of times <laughs> as they've projected onto me the experience that they've had with their mother, knowing full well that I'm nothing like the person that they're then projecting onto me. But unless you're aware of these dynamics, you can buy into them and you can believe what that person is telling you. And if they're telling you that you are undesirable, um, unlovable, pitiful, unintelligent, untrustworthy, or any number of not very nice things, then you can start to believe those things. But when you realise that quite often the only thing somebody really experiences of you is their own projection onto you, you don't need to take it to heart so much and you can choose to be whoever you really want to be. Because the one thing that we have in this life is free choice. And we have the choice to be whoever we want to be. And incidentally, when somebody's projecting their ideas onto you of who they think you are, the more you argue with them and the more you fight against it, the more you become the person that they think you are. So in a situation like that, I found it best to take a very deep breath, to pause, <laughs> to decide what you want out of the particular relationship that you're in. It could be a friendship, it could be um, a relationship with your family or a loved one or your partner, any number of relationships, a colleague. And in that moment, choose how you want to act to create the relationship you want, not the one that's being projected onto you. And just because somebody else thinks that you are a certain way does not make you that way. The only thing that would ever make you that way is when you believe what they say is true. And nobody can give them that power other than you. You're the only person that can give them that power. So when somebody says that you are like somebody, you're like a certain way or that you are a certain thing, just remember, the only time that that actually becomes true is when you believe it's true. I hope you've enjoyed this little deep dive <laughs> into other people's projections onto you. Um, if you want to connect with me, I'm on social media and you can find me through my website. All of the details are below this episode. Um, I've also got online courses, some free, some paid, which you can find on my website. And I'm actually going to be starting a, a Aligning with Abundance course on Monday. And if you want the details to that, have a look below and you can find out a bit more about that as well. So much love from me to you and I'll see you again next week. Bye bye.